Hi, I'm going to show you how to build a toolbox kit for your scouts. It's going to be made out of this fence picket like this, which is only about $1.60 at your local box store. And then also a dowel. You're going to have a blast making the kits and your scouts are going to have even more of a blast building the kits once it's all done. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is measure over 16 inches. So that's where the bottom is going to be. So we're going to mark it at 16. We'll use our combination square for a line. Right there. Now we're going to take our saw and cut that out. There's our bottom piece. Put that behind us for now. Next, we're going to measure over 17 and a quarter inches. So there's 17 and a quarter. I'm going to use my combination square, draw a straight line across. I cut that off. This is going to be the first side. Okay. And another at 17 and a quarter. I can mark it like this, or I can just take the piece I just cut, put it right on there, and just draw a line. Darken that line up just a little bit here. bottom and two sides. Last, I need to take this leftover material and make my end pieces. Those are going to be 10 inches long or you can just cut this in half. Right now it is 21 and 3 quarters. So let's go ahead and cut that in half at about 10 and 5 eighths. Now we're going to cut off our dog ears like this. What you want to do is you want to take your combination square and set it so that the, the line is right on one, one of the inch marks. And then you can put it on here and measure two inches down. All right, measure that down on both sides. And one, one thing you can do, you can measure in two inches and then just connect the, the line. like that, or you can take the 45 on, the, on your combination square and use that. I'm actually going to use the inside 45, smart building, like that. Now all I have to do is cut these off. Got all the sides of our box cut to the size. The last cut we have is your dowel. The dowel needs to be cut to about 16 and 3 quarters. So if you stretch your tape measure out, six, mark 16 and 3 quarters. This may be something that you want the scouts to do. Oftentimes you want them to cut something and you may not want them to cut the whole entire box. So maybe you can have them just cut the dowel. Now that we have our pieces all cut, we're going to pre-drill some holes for the, for the nails. It's key to, to pre-drill because otherwise the little scouts have trouble getting the nails in the, you know, through the wood and uh, it can also split. So I'll just have a drill bit here. I'm going to drill three holes on each of the ends. On each of the sides, 
Again, I drill three holes on the on the ends of the, those. And I drill three holes across the bottom where it's going to connect to the bottom to the bottom of the box. Now we have all of our holes pre-drilled. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole to recess the handle into. So I'm going to take my Forstner bit. Again, if you have a drill press, that's probably a better way to do this. I'm going to take my square, my carpenter square. Now I'm going to go down about an inch and a half. And mark it. An inch and a half down here. And then I'm going to mark approximately the center of this. Right about there. Where those two marks intersect, I'm going to go ahead and drill halfway through with my portion of it. Only halfway. About like that. Until the, about the top of the Forstner bits get, gets to the top of the, the piece of wood. Again, an inch and a half down. And about halfway across. There. A little bit more. Now we need to put it together. So if I take my bottom here and take one of my end pieces, I'm going to take my nails and have those pre drilled holes there. I can use my other handle here. Oops. Key, make sure that this is facing in. I've made about 15 to 20 of these and I've only had two scouts ever not do it this way. You can take the handle and you can load it in there. It'll help you stabilize it as you're hammering in this first side. Some flush there. All right, and one final step is to take two screws and screw this handle together. Right now it's all loose and can spin very easily. Um, so we don't really want that. We want this to be a nice tight handle so it doesn't spin out of our hand. So we can take our screws right in the end here. If I take a screwdriver and drive this home. Now for me that wasn't all that hard, but for a scout that might be a little tr trickier. So you can stand it up on end like this. Um, you can also grab um, some soap if you have some soap and put some soap on the threads. That always helps the scouts out a little bit. And there you go. Now the handle doesn't spin. You're all set. Wonderful toolbox for your scouts.